we just got a message a second ago uh, that somebody's seen a full all by itself on the fence line of the highway which the wild horses actually have access to. I literally just dropped Jordan off on the side of the highway. I'm trying to find a safer spot to um, park the truck. We didn't see it on the drive-by. Sorry, I'm just looking. I'm pulled over on the side of the road looking. I didn't see it on the drive-by, so I'm going to circle back around and head back towards Jordan hiking on the road. And hopefully we, um, hopefully we come across it. And when we're driving over here, the herd was way up on top. So I'm literally, I dropped Jordan off way up that way. And I came around the other side. This is always the tricky, tricky part about looking for foals. The sagebrush is pretty high and foals are really little. <laughs> and if they've been out by themselves for quite a while, they tend to bed down and um, just lay down a lot. I literally was thinking about charging the drone up and sending it up top. The uh, horses are way up there and sending it up there just to kind of do a, a mare chat. <sighs> so when I get home, I'll do that. But yeah, no sign of baby so, yet. Jordan, I just met up with Jordan. We're splitting up again just to cover some more ground. I'm really kicking myself for not being better prepared to send the drone up in the air. Because, <sighs> yeah, it's really difficult to see babies. This is what happened when Ranger was found. We literally looked for four days and uh, took us four days of looking through sagebrush to find them. So <laughs> I am actually going to go home and charge the drone up. Oh gosh, I'm out of breath. Sorry. I got to do more hiking in my life. Well, we still haven't found it. Um, I'm going to do one more sweep up here because I see some magpies. And one thing we've learned in life is birds, especially like magpies, tend to follow little tiny horses or mama horses who are unalive. So I'm going to hike up here and just check out what this magpie is doing and then we're going to go home. Oh, so the magpie is in here in this little gully. It is heavily trafficked by horses. Um, but I'm not seeing anything. Jordan just called. He went quite a ways the other way. See there's a magpie in one chatting up there. Ooh. I found this in the Coca-Cola bottle. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is just head back, head back home. We'll come back out again later. I am just making my way back to the truck and I'll go find Jordan. Um, and then we're gonna go head up a little bit further north. Uh, just in case the pin drop that they sent us was a little bit off. <sighs> um, if you're new to our page, <laughs> it's springtime and we have feral foals up in the rangelands here. This is private property, um, but they're unmanaged horses. And every single year for quite a few years, um, we've just become caretakers of foals that have been left behind from the herds or injured. All of them that we've brought home had needed vet work, some extensive and life saving vet work. And other ones we have found just needed to be euthanized. <sighs> um, so yeah, welcome to our page. It's springtime and baby horses are now being born. And we're just out here doing what we can do because we have the knowledge, experience, 
and we've got in the ability to be out here and keep an eye on these feral foals and no they're not like deer mama horses don't just tuck them away somewhere underneath sagebrush and then come back for them if they are left like this and there's no herds in sight uh, they've been abandoned they've been left behind and like I said most times all of the foals we brought in had uh, medical issues with them that needed immediate attention and that's probably why they were left behind from the herd just because of natural selection they wouldn't they wouldn't have survived so yeah here we are looking for a foal that somebody had messaged that they've seen out in the sagebrush okay so we um got back into the truck again and took a rip up the highway further literally we had passed here already once and um didn't see it even though we hiked like literally if it's bunkered down in sagebrush they're really hard to find so we came up for a second pass and we seen it so i just kicked jordan out of the truck i'm on the highway here and parked here trying to um get turned around but this highway is super busy um yeah stay tuned so i'm just walking the range here i got a call about a baby by itself abandoned I just got sight on you right now. Right by the highway. Oh, the skinny. I don't have Candace with me to film, but I'm gonna see if I can hook up to him. Oh, poor girl. Dangerously close. Oh. Yeah, we need to get you to a vet. I'm gonna do a ride around later and see if we find a mum anywhere. There's okay, there. so we found it. There she is. Tiny babes. Um, we are like dangerously on the side of the highway because this is where the rangeland meets the highway. Um, yep, yeah, so I'm going to get turned around here and um, meet Jordan a little bit in a safer spot here.